Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match between Singolo and his Dwarves and Oriolensis and his High Elves. In the booth with me is Yakaste, uh, or however you pronounce it. Hello everyone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hello, yeah, this looks brutal doesn't it for Oriolensis this match. Yeah, uh, it's the, the the opposite to the dream first match in playoff, right? Yes, this made me very happy that I uh, that I had deleted my high elf team and chosen not to uh, <laughs> not to play a few more games and probably qualify them. I instead decided to delete them because uh, I was very frustrated with Blood Bowl. And uh, yeah, it turns out I you know I've made the right decision because I would have just got ruffle stomped by this horrible horrible dwarf team. You would have gone through pain because this we're complaining because not only because of the chances of losing which are very high against this team but also the chances of even if you win not having your whole team for the next match at all yeah <laughs> and uh so orlances was the high tv team and he, he scummed well, didn't really scum it he just bought a wizard on top which gave Zingolo an extra 150 so like Zingolo's gonna get the wizard anyway um so he spent 100 so Zingolo got a bribe and uh Barrick Farblast is this? Yeah, it is yep. Barrick Farblast. Um, it's probably worse, right? Probably just worse than having him on the field than a guard Longbeard. But hey, at least it gives him a bit of a bench. I don't know. Even cheerleaders would be better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't want those elves to have more rerolls. a one there but he's disengaged so that was that's like the the a great time to roll a one isn't it if you're gonna roll a one make sure it's your last dodge of the turn so you're not giving up a hundred hits next time mm. aren't the dwarves a little bit far away from the ball yeah i didn't really like this running forward when when the kick was so deep it's not what i would have done um but you know singolo is uh you know, in the nicest possible way, he's a bit of a banger, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that that's completely fine and nice uh, for him to, to, to be said. I, I don't think he will get that wrong. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> he probably identifies with, with uh, happily identifies with, uh, with the mood of Bunker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he he really does bang on people very well. Oh, he's made a GFI here. <laughs> Single is what all bangers want to be, says. <laughs> wow, he's made two GFIs. Well, instantly, Ori Lenses runs in for the one day on the ball. <laughs> Due to the absolutely zero protection, Space Cadet level ball protection there um yeah that was N not even ball protection you need to be near to the ball to protect it <laughs> oh no disaster really wow maybe you should have moved like a bunch of people first i guess there's an there's an argument for moving some of these people around but um that's a brutal, that's a brutal double one, isn't it? Yeah. That's uh, how elves can lose matches, right? <laughs> yep. Ooh. Yeah, I really that's like scumming the wizard because I just feel like this team. You know, like I don't know if you saw uh, Ori Lenses, if you saw the match that PC and and Yak and Yak and everybody watching. If you saw the game that PC had against Thomas T last season, that's that's basically what I expected to happen in this one. You know, now obviously, obviously Singolo is not quite the same as PC when it comes to like you know protecting the ball and you know all that kind of stuff, but. His team is certainly rowdy enough that he just had, you know, it had the same kind of feeling of inevitability as, as that match, that he's just going to kick the living shit out of these elves. <laughs> so I thought having the wizard at least gives you a chance to stop him. Yeah, I think we, we didn't uh, speak enough about that move uh, from Orleans to scam that wizard being the overdog. That's, I, I think that's excellent. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean both bits because because of having these guys down that Orient has not stood up. He's not giving away a ton of blocks, is he? So you know, um, Singolo hasn't been able to make the blocks or protect the ball. <laughs> 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 yeah, we we can see the dwarves like doing the opposite of what the dwarves are meant to be doing, right? Because they they need to be very close together, closing the gaps, uh, so they can effectively base what they have in front of them. Yeah. And instead, they are getting split, so they cannot effectively base what they have in front of them yeah. uh, in a safe way. And even now he's like leaving these two behind, isn't he? As he moves over this side, I would have liked to have taken the centre more. And so at least you just wouldn't be uh, sacking these two guys off. Yeah, you would say like he panicked a little bit to move forward. Yeah. This is nice though, this is nice, but it's getting extra hits, isn't it? The only danger is the wrestle in case you are both down. Which as long as you can move a dwarf to protect the right side, right? Yeah, which is what yeah. he has to do there. Okay, okay. Oh, how hideous. Because of barging into Rick's chat, I was set to push to talk. Ugh. <laughs> right, I've turned that nonsense off. I'm far too lazy to wait whilst you're seeing things five seconds ahead of me. <laughs> so at the very least, I'm going to watch your screen share. Um, I thought I might have the odd thing to say about Singolo's dwarfing. Uh, I think he's extremely good at dwarfing. I don't know quite how he does it in that but he's clearly incredibly effective at it. Uh, he chose to bring this team ahead of a huge Chaos team, which also had an 80-plus dode. Um, he is on a stated mission. He wants to win the CCL Chalice with Dwarves. Uh, and until he's done it, he doesn't plan to stop. Hello, CC. Um, hello, PC. Hello, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. <laughs> it's, it's not the worst team to to be playing over and over if you like it <laughs> no i hear some people who quite enjoy doing that yeah some people are a dwarf man aren't they <laughs> don't know what you're talking about jim <laughs> <laughs> interesting i mean he, he's actually protecting his ball slightly more than i'm used to singolo tending to do he usually doesn't really he doesn't mind hanging it out a bit uh, but then he's usually got a better ball carrier, and here, of course, he's carrying on Barrick, a just a very ordinary block run. Yeah, Barrick is, of course, designated designated ball bitch in this scenario. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> hey, Barrick, we want you to be the star and carry the ball all, all the time, box. <laughs> well, <laughs> see that fellow with a beard? Yeah. <laughs> just until he's done his job. And he has some metal in his back. What could go wrong? <laughs> yeah. Well, everything fails on a one in Blood Bowl. That's true. Now, the thing with these incredibly lean teams is they are ruthless at what they do, which is remove other teams and slowly grind forwards. But it does leave them vulnerable. Um, you know, any one piece chipped, suddenly they become a lot less effective. It is quite hard to keep the ball 100% safe and moving forwards. So there is some fragility to it. I totally agree. If uh, the, the problem with these teams, as you say, is that when something goes wrong and you have to go out of the script, uh, you, you are in all kinds of trouble. Yes, plan B is do plan A more and harder. Um, Just which like works it. in some aspects of life, but not necessarily blood bath. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll leave that just uh, just there. Yeah, I was tempted to insert the punchline, but there's no need, is there? There's no need. So he was seeing exactly this, you know, he, he's straight in, even in a fairly tough position here where the ball is at some risk if he gets all knocked down. He's just pushing straight up into faces, guard locking, not caring, using the stand firm to ensure even if he's knocked over the ball isn't that available. Desperately hoping the wizard comes in. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty available. I wouldn't hate seeing a wizard this turn. No, particularly with the, uh, the other runner tied up. Well, that instantly it comes in and does nothing. Well, at least it frees up this hit, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which he would have freed up on a, on a, 
And a 5 plus would do to the stand firm. Five, yeah, 5 plus because it was stand firm. So it, it does free it up for uh, possibly now elfing away. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a guy round the back. There's only one way to beat them. Get round the back. There is. And uh, and that runner is not guarding the elf as much as he thinks he is. Certainly not. Hunt? Oh yeah, four oh, plus. Just a long hunt. Oh, okay, well that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It, it is an interesting choice, the bolt against the fireball sometimes. In that situation, uh, you, you account for I like the fireball because it's a 4 plus on the ball and I ha I can have that. A 4 plus on the stand firm, I can have that. What else? I, was was that a nice fireball? Was a, better, a bolt better? No, I liked that fireball. Um, I mean, mainly because it had two targets, both of which wrecked him, which was the one that did get knocked over and the ball carrier. I think it even had three as well, right? Because the guy around the back would, would have been all yeah. the guy who took the ball. Yeah, I think you're right. That would have made it just as tricky. They need to be three to be better than the ball, right? You also promoted him onto yeah. the edge if you got around the back, couldn't you? With just a push, which would have been a very difficult position for him to be in. Uh, and then you could even have manufactured that into a surf if you really wanted. So, yeah. Um, yes, I liked the five, but mainly because the 50% instead of 80, whatever it is. 86 um, was over several pieces, all of which gave good options. Yeah. The fireballs can be so tempting sometimes when we all know that bolts usually are better, but sometimes you just don't have an option where a bolt's really going to do it. Yeah, exactly, Mangle. Yes, yeah, so there was, there was, there was, there were like there were four players, and all of them it was pretty good if they went down. Yeah. Um, between pretty good and devastating. <laughs> yeah, and any um, any two, it looked very, very good. Yeah. So at that point, the fireball probably is better. Yeah, I, I, I like I like the fireball to be honest. No, I was I about really to say like, uh, I don't really like uh, what's it called punts, but this is working out, mm. isn't it? Well, I was about to say, of course, only the elves are going to win this race when he punted it, but um, <laughs> look, the dwarves have sort of put themselves slightly back into this race, haven't they? Ooh. No. The yeah, in, in this case, the Singolo had his team, his cage in front, and the rest of his team behind the cage. Right? It, it's normally the opposite, but that's <laughs> that that giving him a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I mean it's it, usually you have two stages as dwarves. There's the stage you were at, and there's the point you're at now, and you try and roll them forwards. Um, so there is often a little base behind where the cage has advanced to. Um, but yeah, it has absolutely that that retarded runner, the, uh, the retarded runner that was struggling to stay up with it, was involved in a little hitting war with a pointless elf. Yeah. That has actually kept him in the game to some degree, isn't it? Yeah. However, this is a huge turn, and what is he doing? He's pushing hugely forwards because. He has to. He has to free up uh, Barrick to catch the ball. This is his only scoring threat. Does he? Does he <laughs> just have to stop the touchdown? Isn't that much more important than scoring? Because this is. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what he was doing, isn't it? It's is all his doing. focus and effort in completely the wrong direction, and now he definitely, definitely, definitely gets scored on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just so slow. I don't see what he could have done. To be honest, I, I quite like going for that because. His guys are so slow that you can't really affect. You know. I think you build a pocket in the middle of the field, uh, grab the ball and, and throw it into the middle of that pocket. I guess he was assuming that that that, that was a bold plan and desperate plan, and he went for the uh, casualties first. It's a bold plan, a desperate that. plan. But I'm not even sure once he picked the ball up, he had the range to pass it up there. <laughs> yeah, true, um, yeah, true. That might have been difficult. I also think it wasn't yeah, exactly. a good plan, and a plan that will now lead to him losing. But it was a, I, 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 it's I a was not... It's a beautiful in some ways dwarf team. I mean, you know, beautiful in the way that, say, a stiletto is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> More like a sledgehammer, I think. Like... <laughs> yeah, or a sledgehammer or a samurai sword. <laughs> I, I'm not paying attention to whether if Singolo should have used the wizard at any point in the first half. I think you've got to save it for your defensive drive, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think once you realise you're turned over, then it's your best route to turning them over. Mm. 
and possibly not even bolting the ball carrier, but bolting a hole to get through to the ball carrier because elves are, you know, it's going to be a screen, not a cage, isn't it? And it's never going to be that near you. And, oh. just, and yeah, probably and not just do this thing where they pick the ball up and run away, won't they, Jim? It's looking like a dacker, isn't it? And it's a glorious <laughs> riot to start. Well, dacker, that dacker, dacker. helps the elves here. Not going for the pass though. Tra tragedy strikes as he doesn't go for the vanity pass. <laughs> well, the minute you saw those elves not taking on this line of scrimmage, you thought this is likely that they're just running away, isn't it? <laughs> and of course, without blitzers, Singolo, it'll be a while till his dwarves get anywhere. <laughs> And they do have to get somewhere because they can't just wall up and wait for the elves to eventually break through. Because the elves don't need to. They can just sit there looking at them for eight yeah. turns. Yeah. And from the elves' point of view, that would now be the perfect half. Yeah. yeah. But there yeah. is the wizard, right? And, and There is a wizard. And, and yes, you want it in all the time. Especially if you, if you lose the toss, but you've, if you've got to use it, you've got to use it, haven't you? No, you, I think you'll have to use it. And first of all, you need to get in range. Now, the good thing about the withdrawn offense here is that it does put the ball in range of a quick score if you can turn them over with the wizard. Mm -hmm. So you don't then have to possibly defend the ball. Um, you know, so your blitzers and runners can uh, all try and come for the ball on the turn when you wizard. And use the you know the four three agility pieces to uh, to re oh, he's only got a one, isn't he? <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, if you didn't spot that coming, then you... <laughs> and yes, true. The uh, no butter thing is what Singola does every season. Um, I uh, haven't yeah, spoken to anybody who thinks it's a good idea, but he keeps doing it, <laughs> and it works. I mean, it's to the point where it's now known as the Russian method, um, you sometimes don't see slayers as well, but the fact there's one slayer is, is quite a sort of luxury on this team. Yeah, it's a revolution. Um, <laughs> he, so, I mean, there's no denying that beards are very effective for 70k, but it, is nine of them effective? I, I, I always find when I'm shorn of blitzes, I'm in trouble from the outset of the game. Yeah. But then that's what he's used to doing. <laughs> Orioles is here, really taking the piss. I mean, I think they are linking arms and doing the can can at these dwarves. This is in is... happy feet where three penguins do a slow walk away from a uh, tiger seal that's on land and hence can't move very quickly. Uh, I think that's what the elves are doing here. An absolute meme. <laughs> or possibly the sort of Peter Crouch robot dance. If you can imagine 11 high elves all body popping, waiting for these dwarves to chug slowly towards them. <laughs> Hands down in front of the dwarves. Do you think, uh, do you think Singola will manage to not get out of shape? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Already doing the, uh, already doing the old the, Mike, Michael Flatley is uh, has taken over managing this team. The amusing thing here is that he hasn't swapped the runner for another dwarf, so that the runner is offset and not centralised. But I suppose it's being balanced by the incredible agility and move of the Slayer on the other side. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you could have swapped that, this uh, long beard, couldn't you? You could have swapped the yeah, long beard. Yeah, absolutely. I think the runner should have been centralised by now. Yeah. And probably the Slayer too, as his only other even vaguely responsive piece. Yeah. Um, but well, this is bleak uh, for the dwarves. They, as we said, this is exactly what uh, what Yak was talking about. They don't have the flexibility to deal with things that aren't their expected outcomes. They haven't killed enough elves, which means there's enough elves to just stand there and mock them. And most of all, they didn't score. Uh, dwarves need to score in their drive because otherwise they they are doomed to a to a yes, well, really not do. doomed, but, but no, they, they it's very likely that very likely that they will draw or or lose the match because they cannot. Now, is this a tight enough pack of elves to come in with the wizard? I mean, uh, Orelensis has beautifully stayed both quite packed up on one side here, promoting the theory that he is going to try and break through. But also just wide enough that Singola can't thin the line really anywhere. 
Um, so it's a really, really nice shape. I like what he's done with it this turn. But is yeah. it tight enough that mm -hmm. you could have gone in with the Wiz and maybe got to the ball? No, no, I, I think no, no. no. The, the, there's no way. It's a double screen, and double screen, double screens are great for that. It's. Yeah. I mean, it's a triple in front of the ball, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is one one of the kind of first crash things into that... it, push into it with all of your guard, all of your stand firm. Hope for a fail. Hope for a one in thirty six. It's one of the first things that that is, uh, a good player. Um, when, when you start playing proper blood ball, you you learn that you don't need to protect the back of your runner uh, carrying the ball if there is no threat to it, right? Yeah. But it's always nice. Cage looks nice pretty well. when you do that. I think if he hadn't, didn't have stand firm, I like this because then you can block and then get through, and you know. Yeah. But I think without that, I think it's like, mm, you like this. I think I would have just, you know, gone in, <laughs> further into my corner a little bit. Too. This is the turn that Singolo was looking for. Yeah, this was a pretty horrible turn. Yes, this it? is. This has got to be a wizard that induced it. No, 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 wizard. no wow. wizard. <laughs> is he already <laughs> That's massive. Yeah, oh, that's massive. Go up on the edge. This is not the wizard turn. Oh, I was just going to pause but, it and but think. I, I would, is yeah. this the wizard turn? I don't know. It's 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 not that obviously a wizard turn because he has got two I, players here. I, he has I got like two the side here. step two in from the edge, wizarding that, and then moving the dodger with the slayer. Yeah, for me, for for me, it is the the wizard turn. Mm. But it's mm. yeah, it's not clear cut. But then you could wait. Endlessly for the perfect wizard turn, and not. It is turn it. thirteen. There was a uh, riot. It's. It, uh, I mean, for me, it is one hundred percent the wizard turn. Oh, interesting. I didn't think this was that good for the wizard, to be honest. But if he leaves the setup as he's put it now, there's a one die to break through on the edge, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, it's a five plus. But if you get it, the game's one on the two plus. No, two two pluses, you need a handoff as well. Or you just go with the piece that's kind of got the ball. But you don't even need to go for the ball. You, you you can just limit yourself to apply the pressure that you need in order to be in a position oh, in the next turn tackle. to go for the ball. Oh my Ooh, god. That's nice. The strength it force layer the is the answer. Didn't take the push. Well... Yeah, that's odd because almost everywhere it throws out is better for him to recover it than inside that elf cage, isn't it? But he hadn't he had the reroll available. Yeah, but he rolled uh, double was it a GFI, yeah, was it after that? Yeah, GFI and then uh, and then, and then he couldn't dodge the out. Edge. Yeah, he couldn't dodge out. But you want the ball to scatter out because then the odds of you recovering it are much better. They've got to get through your wall to get to wherever the ball's gone. Yeah. Now imagine, imagine you had used the wizard in that turn, in addition to to what we have seen. Yeah. I think he would be in a much better position. Yeah. But now you've got a wizard, haven't you? No. Yeah. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Now this now. is a hundred percent wizard now. Yeah. Although that slayer can still just break tackle, can't it, on a three and hit he the ball for two. He can, but I think you just got to break to I think you've just got no, to win. No, no, no whiz. I, I think... <clears throat> now he's just great with hitting, which is me, he's much more comfortable doing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's down to play styles and taste. Uh, I, I like to to, yes. to be very, 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 you know, to, to nail it. To to, things, to... He has a taste for it. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I have a 1 on 36 to score, and I have a wizard, but I know, I know that that score maybe almost wins me the match. I, I'm happy to bolt someone to, to make that one. He won in nine it. Oh no, he didn't. Did he not have any rerolls? Because he also tends to carry about one reroll. He won in nine it. He's got dodge. So he, yeah, uh, he won in nine it. But um, yeah, like the thing is, like you, you want to keep the wizard for overtime though. So I can see the point in wanting to keep the wizard for the overtime. So like it's not as simple as to stop you doing a 136, is it? Because you like that would be crazy to like give up your wizard for overtime to save one in thirty six. So like 
you've got to think about that, but also I think, if, even if you don't use it on turn 13, I didn't like it on turn 13 too much, but then I didn't look at it for too long. But, um, I think you mean you've got, got to get go over time? Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. I think you've got to use it on turn 14. Yeah. But I can I mean, see why I can see why he didn't, because he was thinking. Yes, but, I mean, there were lots of sort of reasonable shots, and then there was the one this turn, the one before that led to this, uh, yeah. which I think had to be. Yeah. Either to remove the need of the dodge from the Slayer, um, or to hit the ball. But I quite liked removing the need for the dodge and doing the surf that he had planned. Again, because of the bounce out options, gave you a much better chance of recovering the ball than yeah. in the middle of all those owls. Or, or uh, scr scrumming? Is it in English? Scrumming the ball? Uh, you could scrum the ball with two dwarves at least if you use the wizard. Yeah. yeah. Still. It is what it is. Now he's done, isn't he? He is. No, yeah, yeah. Now there's no use for the wizard. Yeah. <laughs> you can use the wizard in season forty-one playoffs. <laughs> well, now it's the perfect time to use the wizard just to try and hurt. <laughs> And it's funny because this time he was gonna he was gonna go for the surf, it, like you know when he was doing yeah. the dodge with the long bit with the uh, slayer, he was gonna do the surf this time when of course it was on turn fourteen and he might have ended up. Going. Which would also have been a go for it. Yeah, and it would have been that would have been going. On but that that could have ended up like you know the throw in could have put it further away and made it harder for him to score as well. So yeah, it ended up ended up pretty terrible all round really from uh, for single or the turn fourteen. Uh, theoretically, he's got a the chance here. But he doesn't, does he? No, he not really, no. I mean, in the real, actual world of things that happen. Yeah. If he was Ricky, he'd have a good shot. Yeah, sorry. I was going to say that. <laughs> again, if to have any shot here, he surely had to wizard one of these elves at the back. I don't know, he can whiz now. He can whiz now, right? He can whiz. Yeah, I mean, now he has to. Exactly, so he does now, but. And then you can just long bomb it to a uh, long beard and tackles on, and who <laughs> yeah dodges off, hands it off to another long beard, presumably in a tackle zone, who dodges off and scores. Yeah, easy, really. It'll be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> no, Solid he's just going to kill some Solid stuff. Solid by Priori, right? Pardon? So Solid Solid mats by Ori, right? Yeah. 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 The the only thing I didn't really like was the uh, was this hit here, of trying to break through the sideline a little bit. I, I thought that was a little. Um... There was a very big upside, but it was possibly quite a big downside too. Yeah. I, uh, that that was the only thing I didn't really like from Orioles. Was that was that little. That little attack down that right side, uh, sort of thing, and uh, you know maybe a bit too, maybe a bit too happy to go for one D's on the ball, but then uh, that was only that was only really like once, wasn't it, with the mighty blow? And I don't know. I would have tried to have made that too. I don't know. I don't know. Like, seventy-five percent with Russell. This is seventy-five percent if you invest the reroll. It was it was a blockless guy with uh and it was a block blitz, wasn't it? So it was it was it was like it was a good shot the one day, but I don't know, I like I, I didn't look at it that much, but I would say like they were the two things I would have thought about was was there a better turn that turn? And was there something better on that turn were the only things I would think of looking at. Where is Singolo or I would take a long hard look at my entire life. <laughs> It's interesting, you don't look at Singolo's team and think glass cannon, do you? Um, I mean, I think the analogy I prefer is more sort of the love of a teenage girl for a boy band. It, it looks on the surface like the strongest, toughest, just most unbreakable thing in the world. And then suddenly when one little crack appears, when the first pretty boy dances off to sing alone, it just all falls apart, doesn't it? And turns out it was made of nothing. And it turns out it was the fat dancer that was the key all along. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Robbie Williams, if you uh, if you didn't know. Um, yes. <laughs> one armor break in the entire game for Aurelensis. Look at dog. <laughs> uh, 
But I mean, you don't expect to break AV, do you, against, uh, against Wolves as Elves? Even with a mighty blow guy, you're not making that many blocks and everything, and the only no. thing you care about is if you can if you can get the ball down when it counts. And he did, and he got it, and he got the turnover, and he got the win. Glorious effort. Um, so there you go. Contrast what he deserved. What, a, what an absolutely filthy team to have to face. Yes. Um, and Singolo coaches it very well. He knows exactly how to use what he's built. Yeah. Yeah, all credit to Singolo. I was only joking with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that taking the mick. Uh, commiserations and goal, losing finalist, of course, in season 39. Um, thank you very much, Yak and PC. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.